Hey guys, it's Georgia. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If y'all are new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be um, altering a hand crystal ball holder that I found at Target a couple weeks ago in their Halloween section. Um, it was just really basic and didn't really match uh, anything else I have in my room when I first got it, but I really did like the concept. So I just repainted it and added a couple things to make it more my own. But yeah, I hope you guys like it. And if you do, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. My other social medias are linked down below as they normally are, as well as my Etsy and Mercari shop if you want to buy something that might be in a later video. All right, I hope you guys like it. Alright, this is the crystal ball that I was talking about. It's just a gold hand with a removable hollow glass ball on top, and I really like the idea of a hand holding a crystal ball, but I just don't like the gold and it seems really shapeless. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is adding some nails, since there are nail pockets but you can't really tell what they are. So I have these fake nails from an old nail kit that I have. I'm just going to be sizing to figure out which ones fit on the little nails and just make sure I had one for each finger. Next, I'm going to be using puffy paint to make somewhat of a 3D base since I couldn't put a curved nail onto the flat ceramic. So just using the puffy paint to give it a little bit of a circular base so I had something to attach it to. Um, I originally tried with hot glue but that just started melting through the nails. After one coat I did end up going through doing a second one just to make sure it had that little extra edge and with those all dry I can finally attach the nails on top. To attach each nail, I'm just going to be using tacky glue because it's a little bit thicker than Elmer's glue, so it'll hold in place while it dries, but it's not as permanent as something like Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, or as time sensitive as hot glue, which would just, again, add more of a layer and melted the nails when I first tried to do it. With the nails all positioned, glued on, I can start shaping them. Because I noticed when I put the ball on, it was pushing a couple of the nails. I didn't want them to fall off. So, yes, I did use normal scissors, and I just sort of cut a little bit off the top of each one. Two of them did break off while I did this, but after a nice quick little re-glue, I was able to get them on. I did put a dot of glue on the back of each nail once I finished readjusting them to make sure that they didn't fall off further down the line, give them just a little bit more st stability than just the glue holding it onto the front. To make it even more stable, I did add one last layer of puffy paint and I just sort of brushed that on so I had something, some sort of layer that was a structure layer going over the nail base and the fake nail on top. This just made it so it was one layer, it wasn't going to fall off, and again, just fixing another nail that started to break. So all these were to make sure that doesn't happen later on. Now that they're all set, I was able to just file them down with a nail file to make them not so pointy and sort of even smooth out that tone from puffy paint to actual fake nail. And now that is all set, all nice and smooth, they aren't pointy, they're sharp, but they're still sharp, I'm ready to start painting. I'm going to quickly start with just using white base paint, just painting the entirety of the hand. I'm going to be doing light colors on this, so I did only end up doing one coat of paint. I probably could have done two, but I just needed something so I wasn't having these nice little pastel colors go on this very bold, dark gold tone. With that all nice and done, I can start adding color. I'm going for like a pastel of that like psychedelic swirl vibe, so I'm just using pink, purple, yellow, and a little bit of blue. Starting with the yellow on what would be the thumb, I'm just making a nice swirl over the palm of the hand and trying to bring that down through the base where the wrist would be if it was a real hand, sort of where the stem is. Um, the yellow was the hardest one to do, it was so light and a lot of these paints are old, so they did use two or three layers each at least. After I did the uh, yellow layer, I go on with the pink one, trying to make the same sort of design on the um, side as I did with the yellow, and this one I did have to do two different swirly drip type designs on the bottom. Um, this first layer for all the colors was just to sort of get the color down and an idea of the shape. So once this dried, I did go through with a second coat 
Um, I went through a three on the yellow one, but a second one on all the colors to just make sure that the color was bright and the lines were crisp. Um, I went with purple next. For the purple, I did bring it over onto that last finger, so it didn't look like there was so little purple. And just finishing up whatever was left white with the blue to get all four colors painted on there. After I finished this, I let it dry for a little bit, and with coat one done, I thought it was pretty bright, but I wanted to just clean up some of the lines, make it a little bit um, brighter, pop more. So I did go backwards with this. I started with the blue side, just going over all of the paint, making sure the lines were nice and crisp, finishing them up a little bit. Next, moving on to the purple. This um, layer was a little bit harder because I was going over the colors in some spots and I didn't use the same type of color of paint for each color. So there's some that are glossy, some that are matte, but it just made the lines much, much clearer. They looked better and more exact than they did when I originally made it since that was, again, just to get color on. The pink of this layer was pretty hard since that thumb has a weird amount of space and the pink was so different from the um, yellow, but I think that all the colors looked fairly good once I was finished with them. And finally, just finishing up with the yellow. I did do a third layer of yellow off camera just because that was the only one that seated that it seemed to need a third color a third coat for the color it was just really bright compared to all the other ones but i do think they all looked about the same tone and level of brightness in the end with these all nice and set i decided i need to add a little bit more contrast than just the color of the hands using a silver paint pen i just went over the lines sort of outlining where each one was i just chose silver because it was a nice middle ground i didn't want to do another color and add more in and i didn't i couldn't figure out how to make it look nice using the same four colors so i thought the um, silver was a nice just baseline making sure i went through every single line with that um, making everything cleaner so you didn't see all the little mistakes. I'm also going to be using this silver to paint the nails in. I knew I wanted to paint the nails in the second I added them, but again, using the four colors, I didn't know how to space it out with those same colors, and I didn't want to use just a white or a black because I thought that would be too intense and bold. So I thought the silver brought together the lines that are on the hand itself. One last silver part for this project. I just did that little indent on the bottom silver, so I had, again, a little bit more contrast. This part was really satisfying because I was just coloring in different blocks of color, and it just, I think, looks really nice in the end. With a couple coats of these, they looked nice and bright, but I wanted some more color. So I just added clear white glitter all over the hand. I also did a layer of Mod Podge to seal in all of the paint so it wouldn't chip easily and the glitter I just did to give it a little bit more of a shiny shimmery tone. With that I thought it was done but it was missing one more thing so I made some resin crystals. To make these crystals I put down my tarp first. My resin you have two parts so I got my little measuring cup out and I measured one part of resin and one part of the hardener just stirring the two of them together, making sure there are no lines or it's okay for there to be bubbles, but just wanted to make sure it looked like there was one um, liquid in there. No streaks, nothing like that. After this, I chose that I was using three colors, did a little bit of blue, I did some pink, and I did some white. Just separating that into the thirds to make sure that I have enough of each color for the crystals and mixing them together. I wanted to make sure that all the powder got in there so they were as bright as possible. I'm using these four little crystal makers and that one random sheet because I always make a little bit too much resin and I don't want to waste it. So these little charms I'm doing right now are not included in the video, but I will use them later on for some form of project. Just pouring in, I overfill them just a little bit so when they um, sink, it doesn't make that much of a difference. And if you use a lighter, it gets all of the bubbles out of the top so you don't have to poke them individually. 
now satisfying demolding process. I did a different color for each crystal and I realized that doing five of them was not enough so I did just repeat the process, did the same colors, the same idea with the resin, mixing it half and half, pouring them in so there's three of each, another video of me mixing them. I just thought it was really pretty to see it come together nice and bright after. And this time I was making sure I didn't put the same color in the same crystals so I had a better variety. This just made it so I didn't put three of the same exact crystal on there. And again, another demolding. So here are all the crystals I made. I only did those two rounds. I am just using hot glue to attach them. Since they are so bulky, I didn't really mind if there was a little bit of glue showing since all you could really see at the end was the crystals. I was trying to make sure I didn't put too many of the blue ones where blue paint is and pink ones where pink paint is. Trying my best to not put two of the same colors next to each other. I did pretty well except for right there. But this is the finished product. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think that the colors are much brighter, much more my style, and I can even put a crystal of mine in the top to show it off. I really like the nails. I know they aren't perfect, but they look a lot better than just the stubs that were there before. So I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please remember to like, comment if you want to see more stuff like this, and subscribe if you want to see just more from me in general. All my other social medias are linked in the description down below as, long, as well as my Etsy and Mercari if you want to see products that are going to be in future videos or may have been in past videos. But yeah, hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much. Bye!